Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we have some more news about the upcoming allegedly free-to-play Battle Royale mode for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So it turns out that some players have been able to glitch into the Warzone training facility and play it, and in there we got to learn a lot about the new drop kit system, as well as the plunder system that is going to be a key feature within Call of Duty Warzone. So plunder is basically going to be cash. If you guys have ever played Battlefield Hardline, it's a very similar system where all throughout the Warzone Battle Royale map, you're going to be able to pick up stacks of cash in addition to things like weapons, attachments, and perks. This cash is going to be very important because throughout different areas, Areas of the map, there are going to be what are called supply stations. These are stations where you can go and spend your plunder and get very powerful items and upgrades as a reward. One upgrade is going to be the ability to bring your teammate back. If you guys have ever played Apex Legends, then you know that when your teammate dies, you can go over there and grab their tag, hopefully before you die as well, and then if you take that tag to a specific area, you can revive them. They can come back and continue playing. Well, the same feature is basically going to be in Call of Duty Warzone as well. If you have the cash and you make it to a supply station, you can revive dead teammates, which is definitely a very interesting feature. In addition to being able to bring back your teammates, you can also purchase armor plates which appear to be sort of similar to the armor system that we saw back in blackout but you can also purchase a gas mask which is going to help you survive outside the circle as you guys saw during the season 2 cinematic the circle for warzone is going to be a giant green wall of smoke and the gas mask is going to help you survive out there you can purchase a precision airstrike a shield turret a cluster strike a uav which sounds insane right remember the sensor dart back in blackout and how powerful that was well you can purchase the entire uav which i guess assumes not going to be up for very long, but it's going to show everybody within the area, which definitely sounds very powerful. And we also have a munitions box as well as a drop kit marker. So the drop kit marker is incredibly interesting because back at the main menu for Warzone, you essentially have a creative class system where you can make 10 different classes complete with weapons, perks, secondaries, as well as lethal and tactical grenades. When you purchase a drop kit marker at a supply station with your plunder, you essentially call it in like you would a care package, and when you open that care package, it allows you to pick one of the 10 class setups that you put together back at the main menu, and then you are immediately equipped with those weapons and those perks. This is obviously going to be incredibly powerful, because you can automatically get the weapons and the perks that you want, instead of relying on luck and trying to find them out within the Warzone map itself. Now, based on the footage of the training facility that we have seen so far, which, by the way, there's currently a video up over on the Gaming Revolution channel. I'll put a link to that down in the description. Based on that footage, right now it's unclear whether or not you can set up attachments on your weapons for your drop kit, or if you're going to have to go out there and find the attachments yourselves, maybe take the attachments off your current weapon and equip them to your new weapon. But either way, I do find it very interesting that we have this plunder and supply station system, and I think it's going to make the Warzone Battle Royale mode very, very interesting, and nothing at all like we saw back in Blackout. Now, rumor has it that the Warzone map itself is going to be massive. Rumor has it that it's going to be holding anywhere from 152 to 200 players. So having things like the Precision Airstrike and the Cluster Strike and, of course, the UAV playing a factor is something that I'm really looking forward to when it comes to the Warzone game mode. When I first heard about Warzone, like most people, I assumed it was going to be really similar to Blackout, but with a Modern Warfare twist. But it looks like that's not the case. It looks like it's going to be a way different game mode as compared to Blackout. Out, and I'm definitely looking forward to being able to experience it for myself. As always, I'll do my best to keep you guys posted with more details as soon as they become available, but for right now, that's all the new information that we currently have, and I'm going to be wrapping up today's video. I would love to know down in the comments, what do you guys think of the plunder and supply station system that Call of Duty Warzone is going to be implementing? Please leave your thoughts and feedback down in the comments. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.